hey hi everyone uh, welcome back to the new video of uncock so in this video we are going to see clean keys operator uh, in data workflow so let me show you that what is clean key operator so if you go here in the table we can see here this operator right which is clean keys so if i drag and drop this this is like look and feel we will get uh, this is something the first one which is fill if like in what condition we need to fill this is a key and fill with so let me explain you why there is a need of clean keys operator and in which scenarios you can use that so we have this table uh, which is dt1 where we have this columns right student marks location okay uh, and one row which is the seventh row doesn't have location here right and the second table is something like this we just have one row uh, where we have two columns so if we want to see this in console so this is how both the tables look uh, yeah so we have all these things location marks and student for all the rows except this last row which is for this one right student beats that codes and the other one is something like this we have two columns so let's suppose uh, we want to clean this right this is the, not a good thing right this is something uh, we have location but it is something empty so if we want to clean this up clean as not like something should be defaulted there if nothing is present then we can do that with the help of clean keys okay, let's use clean keys operator in this case where we want to feel that value right when the location is empty so let me drag and drop this clean keys operator okay I have already connected this so in this case let's suppose we take it as empty so what it will do is what key we want to look if that is empty or not so in our case it is a location which is something empty right which is blank for one of the rows so here we can mention the key as location and here we will write what's the value we want to fill it with so here I will write not applicable and let me connect this console to view that result let me save let me refresh this and if I click on submit you can see the result we have and this in this location where initially the location was empty right so that is something filled with not applicable right so that happens with empty so let's take a different example where we will choose missing right so in this case let me take this input and let me put it as data table 2 let me take the clean keys operator and here I will write is as missing so it will look for the missing keys so at as we already know in the data table 2 uh, we have this site right? we have just two columns so let's suppose we are expecting the location key as well but that is something missing so here we will write it as missing and what key we are something expecting as missing is location okay and here also we will write something like again not updated cool so let me connect this or let me just drag and drop this result one console let me put it here as result one and result two just to differentiate between two consoles cool so let me refresh so now if i click on submit we have this result two and here we have that key location added as we have configured that missing right so as this is missing in this initial object it got added here with that value which we have put one more thing is like here we can add multiple keys as well so here uh, we just have one key right location and here we have put it as not applicable so let's take an example where we can add multiple keys so here we can add multiple keys as well like this location country and maybe I can write one more thing test one test two right so this is what I am doing here and it will check for all these keys and if all the keys are missing then in that case new keys would be added with all those things four keys and that would be having the value as not updated so let's try out this let me refresh yeah so here we can see the result and here all those four keys were missing right it were not there in the initial object so that's why we got this thing 
so in this way we can add or handle multiple keys as well in the single operator cool so this was about clean keys operator in data workflow hope you find this video helpful if so then please like the video and subscribe to the channel and also one more thing uh, we have a complete playlist of uncock which is having some 30 odd videos here which is something getting updated each day with new topic and new concept so if you haven't followed this playlist please follow this playlist and also bookmark so as soon as i upload you can immediately go and see cool thank you for watching see you next time